Here's the little hat we're going to be making today. Ooh, uh-oh. It's a little doll hat. You can actually put their little head in. Uh, 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 yeah. well, um, ours is going to be pink, but it'll turn out similar to this. And this flower's supposed to be, like, on the side. Or no, wait, it's the back. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's what we're making today. You need a couple of supplies, you know, little little thingies like this, and double-sided sticky tape, and some index cards, or just cardboard. It doesn't really matter. I have an old cracker box here. You can use the cardboard off of that. Wouldn't really matter. Oop, I'm dropping papers. Don't do that. You'll need a hot glue gun if you want it to be easy. Um, I have some memory wire, and it came in a pack with like four different sizes, so I just using I'm using the two middle sizes. And I have some pink little sparkly ribbon bow thingies. 99 cents for a whole bunch of them. Gonna need one of those. Maybe just one. Just set it aside. Oh, come back. Don't run off. Get paint in the tushy. Okay, and I have some pink uh, silk here fabric. Just you know, whatever. So um, I'm gonna go and guesstimate that I need for this round part here. Um. Which side did I use? No, no. Yeah, I just grabbed something round. Then I thought, oh, that's a good size for a hat. And I put it down, traced with my pin, cut it out. And then for the um, the top hat of, of the hat right there, I actually just kind of guessed on that one too. And said, yeah, that looks about right. So then I did a second one, just like this. And I did it nicer into my time and then uh, cut it out. Here's the big piece. Here's my big thingy bobber memory wire. Here's the little one. Here's the little memory wire. I like to make it go all the way around twice because this comes in a big like spring here. So I find the end and go, okay, that's once and twice. So then I come down here and I grab my wire cutters and I snip it. There we go. There we go. So that way it gives it a little bit of thickness, but it can still wiggle a little. And we'll put that right on there. Then take my hat, or my fabric, I mean, right down here. Here is my double-sided sticky tape. Sticky tape works really well because it doesn't bleed through the fabric like if it were wet. It doesn't misshape it or anything like that. So I really, really like it. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. I don't want to use all my fabric, so I'm just going to... Okay, you just lay your metal uh, stuff aside for a minute. And then you're going to cut out. Um, make sure it goes at least halfway across, kind of like wrapping paper. And my scissors are very, very dull. Is that my craft scissors? Oh, oh. I'll cut this out in a bigger circle. Make sure each part of it goes at least to the center. And uh, I'll do that. Be right back. Then you'll have something like this. Oh. <laughs> Dang it, shmang it. Make sure that if you're using something, a paper with lines like my cards here, that the lines are on the other side. <sighs> that was dumb. Ah. Mm. Oh. Now I have lines on my fabric. Oh. Uh. So then after you have to cut it out again and um, cut out your little paper. And this time I used um, different cardboard. So you're going to see a picture on the back. I've taped it. Put it on there. Then you're going to need a needle and thread. And you'll probably use um, whatever color of thread that you have that's closest to the color of the fabric that you're using. And double, you know, there's two threads on e each side. You knot it down here so that way it's um, pretty strong. And this got kind of thin there, but it still goes halfway, so we're good. So you're going to baste it. We're going to go along the edges, pretty close to the edges, back and forth, really big and ugly. Does not need to look good. We're just going to use it to pull it tight. You'll see in a minute. Go all the way around. But don't cross, don't go past, and don't knot it off. Leave it on. I'll show you. Hold on. Okay, I went all the way around, and now I'm going to pull it out on the top pretty part. Fold that down. Right next to here, and you're going to have 
the two ends and you're gonna start pulling it up a little and you're gonna this will make it perfectly round then take your before it gets too small take your wire and stick it in there the wire should be slightly larger than your cardboard and then take your two pieces again and pull it tight ah. then knot it on there this is the part where if I had a cameraman I'd say okay stop the camera anyway the wire is gonna help make it a circle shape um, and stay that way it's gonna look really good Oh, come on, don't be wiggling everywhere. Okay, so then you have that. I would double knot it, or I will double knot it in just a minute. And then set this aside. You can cut off your needle after you double knot it. Here's the big one. I'm going to do the same thing with the thread here. I have it in my hand, and I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, all the way around, and then tie it tight. Okay, slip your little stuff in there. Tie your little knots really tight. Don't worry about it looking really ugly, because remember, you're going to have the top on. It'll look, you know, more like that on the top. And there's the bottom. Don't worry about it. You'll have to cut a hole, but don't worry about that yet. Cut off your excess strings. Just like that. Throw them away. And um, I like to use my paper again. And then I go, oh, I think I wanted about that big around. Let's see. Yep. Okay. I just cut off. This is for the rim of the hat. Cut off about that much. Very thin. And take your fabric here. You're going to lay it out. We'll fit that way. So lay it out this way. Grab your... Make sure it's white on, well, at least one side. Double-sided sticky tape. Put that down. Stretch out your fabric. Not too close to the edge because you have to bend it over. Nice. I smell my hot glue gun. Um, you can use a hot glue gun for some of it. And we will. Oh! Look at that. Didn't I just say don't get clo too close to the edge? <laughs> okay, fine. That's okay. If you mess up on one, we'll actually need another. So, it'll be okay. Just go with it. And then, do another one the right way. Oy. Okay, now, that's glued on there. Here's my double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna... And then, out of the way hat. And then I'm going to try not to get it on my fingers. I'm going to bend it over as flat as I possibly can. Oh, come on. Be good to me. Be good to me. And you'll do that to both sides. You want it nice and pretty. The ends are not going to matter because I always make it too long. So the ends just don't matter at all. I might have to get a new pair of scissors, you guys. Alright, now take this. Take your other pieces. Where'd you go? Come back here. <sighs> yeah, I'm with it today. So take your little guy here. Yeah, this is the top, the very the small part, okay? Take your little um, rim of your hat. The rim by the rim I mean this part here. Take the rim of the hat. Hope your dogs don't bark over your video. And try and get it to match up as close as possible to fitting like that. I'm going to put a little piece of tape there to hold it. Doesn't have to be very strong. We're going to glue it in a minute. I'm keeping my thumbnail exactly where it was to measure. Now you're going to take your hot glue gun because it dries so much faster than regular glue. You're going to glue this little puppy on. I don't think you guys have ever seen my ugly all hot glue gun. See how ugly it is? It's hot too. There go the dogs, bickering away. Like having children at home, even when they're at school. You want it even, perfectly, absolutely perfectly even. But, I'm not living in a perfect world. Work on that for a bit. 
Okay, that is still hot in there, but it's pretty well glued on. I'm going to take the back part of the hat here that's, like, coming apart because it needs to be glued with hot glue gun. Come on. It won't matter. We're going to put a flower over this, so the hot glue can be on there. Anyway, take that. You're going to use, here's your nice flat side. We're going to put that down this time. And I like to put the top of my hat off center. Like, if it were completely in the middle, I'd be, you know, scooted up a little bit. But I like to put it towards the back a little. And not only does that make it look cute and more bonnet-like, in my opinion, it um, kind of hides your imperfections that it's not absolutely perfect. Now, I'm going to take... Oh, now i got some hot glue gun, actually, or hot glue sticking. You don't want to get your hot glue coming out of this. Like, uh, you know, in the front. Yeah. Make sure that seam is in the back portion. Just like that. Now, hold that down for just a couple minutes while that cools off. You could probably put a book on it or something if you didn't want to sit there. Just let it cool down. Oh, here's the little hat. It's um, pretty well cool now. I'm going to flip it over and kind of look for... I have my razor blade here with hot glue on it. Um, I'm going to try and find like the, the center part of here and not cut my finger. <laughs> and that's right. I'm just going to cut it. I know. I know. All that work and we're slicing up hat. Awesome. And... Um, what I like to do is I will cut out the cardboard, not the fabric. Don't cut off your fabric. You're going to need it. So take your time, get some scissors, do whatever you need to do. Get that cardboard, the circle underneath this part. Um, it doesn't have to be all the way to the edge, but try and get it pretty close. Anyway, cut that out. P pull your fabric back and just cut it out. Okay, now that I'm back here, like two days later, <laughs> you're going to hear the dryer in the background and the kids playing. So, sorry. It is what it is. So take another little round circle in your cloth and cover it just like you did on the top little thing. And you're going to shove it, a little tiny one, and shove it way down in the bottom. Then you take a long strip of like cardboard the, the covered with the fabric, that really long piece, um, just like the... Um, band right here but make it much smaller probably like half that size tiny and you're gonna hot glue these in you put the circle in first then you put that in and this actually I did a really poor job on this fabric it's um, when I pushed it down and it's just it's not working very well because it's um, extremely thin I'm gonna use you can use anything that's pretty um, I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner for my little fuzz around the top to make it look good and I made it a little long. I'm going to bend my edges so it's kind of like a, like a horseshoe, but, you know, a circle, but it's pointed down. And I'm going to point, I'm going to put that in there so that way it actually sticks in there. Just find a loose spot. You can stick them in. And if you can't find a loose spot, just make them match up evenly. And then it's the make it the size you want, and then use hot glue to glue that in. Just find your edges like that. And try and use not your fingers to get that into the hot glue because that puppy's hot. And then this is popping out, this little end piece. And I can choose to cut it off or I can wait till the hot glue dries and then shove it in with my fingers. Because I don't want to get burned again. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll just wait till that dries. Anyway, that's just going to be a nice little fuzz there. And I'll decorate that. And then you're going to flip it over to decorate the back. I have this strand of little bows and I was thinking about using these but I might use that on the inside these are nice and big and I've taken off a couple so I can use the green on here and I'm gonna take the green and I'm gonna hot glue it around the rim starting at the, the back seam right there that's where your edges are gonna be go up right close to the rim and go all the way around and you're gonna 
you're going to cut that and you're going to hot glue it on. I was wrong. I didn't hot glue it. I used the double sided sticky tape. Saved my fingers the burning and it doesn't have a little ledge. Now um, that little green part's on there and I know it's lopsided. These are not my favorite thing to make but I wanted to try. Now I'm going to um, cut off a couple of like tassels that I'm going to have hanging off the back. I'm just going to cut some ribbon and you always make one side kind of cut at an angle to make it pretty because it's so cute oopsie come on go at an angle there you go and then I'm gonna take the back and I will put a dab of hot glue there and dab that on and I will also before I hot glue it I'll make sure that this one is ready to be stuck right on there like that because that hot glue is uh, you know scalding so put a nice glob of hot glue take your little side one stick it in there but not your fingers do the other side Ooh, got the fingers got the fingers don't do that don't worry about these tiny little hot glue strands because once they're cool then they'll come off easier. I'm going to put some extra hot glue on there because I really want this little puppy to stay. And I'm going to ah, whew, glue that on. So you have the two little ribbons back here. And then you could be finished if that's, um, if you like it like that. Or you could take an extra one Put it on the side or something but this is a really big one so i'm going to use it as a centerpiece and i'm going to just go with it and that'll be fine on the inside here i think i'm going to go ahead and maybe put i see i don't like that that thing there that's driving me nuts i'll probably rip it off and put something else in there some kind of cording but um i'm not going to for the tutorial you can put a little bow or anything you want flowers or leaves in here to make it match so let me see what I'm gonna do you know what I can't decide what to put on this side because I really don't like it and I don't want to waste my good stuff on a hat that I'm not even gonna keep or I'll probably just give to Catherine so she can play with it in her dollhouse and it'll get ruined so just decorate it however you want hot glue some flowers on um, if you like your hat and uh, that's how you make this kind of hat <laughs>